Shalom, shalom, all praises to Yahuwah Bashem, Yahusha HaMashiach, by the way of the Ruach HaKadosh. Um, pretty much, um, you know, I was told that when you know better, you got to do better, you know. And there's a lot of people out here trying to get people to denounce the name Jesus by the way of the Hebrew language. So when you know better, you got to do better, right? Alright, so this is for my fellow Hebrew Israelites and also for Christians. Alright, and technically a Hebrew Israelite that believes and follows the Messiah is a Christian. Um, that would be the term that was used in Acts chapter 11 verse 19, 19 through 26. So a Christian is technically a Jew that follows Christ. One that does not believe in Christ is just a Hebrew Israelite. Alright. Now, let's look at this. You see the name of the Most High, Yah. Hallelujah. Yahuwah. Yahweh. Yah. You see that? The Yah. Okay. See, I cut, I'm cutting off with the camera. So, Yah. Hallelujah. See? Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Alright. So these are the four letters known as the Tetragrammaton that make up the name of the Most High Yahuwah. Okay. All right. Now, for those who uh, are very familiar with people who are, hey, sacred namers, as they would say. All right. This is how you would spell Yahweh Shah in pictograph Hebrew because. You know, um, a lot of Hebrew Israelites, they're going to get on me if I write in the Yiddish or Isaac and Nazi Hebrew. So they'll try to make my message less powerful if I'm not writing in this pictograph Hebrew. So let's just write in it so, you know, they can't nitpick at a true message. Okay, so here you have Yahweh Shah and Yahusha both spell the same. The Y is the Yud, okay, at a vowel point, which is the A. Um, all, in ancient Hebrew, all vowels are A's. Then you have the H, which is the He, which you see circled. Then you come to this interesting letter, which in, for those that say Yahweh Shah are going to say it's a Y. But those that say Yahusha are going to tell you that the W is literally a Double U. So the letter in modern Hebrew known as the Vav, V A V, is known as the Y to some, two V's, which makes the letter W, or as it says, it's a double U. So really, it shouldn't be a double U. It should be one U. So the Vav is no longer a Y, but it becomes a Ua. Okay? So, the U in Yahusha is the W in Yahawasha. That is the same letter. Okay? Add a vowel. Now you have Sheen. That's the one that looks like two teeth. Because actually the Sheen is two teeth. Okay? That's the SH in Yahawasha and Yahusha. Alright? Now you have the IN, which is an I, pictorially. That's why it's written out as the letter I in Yahweh Shah. Now, in the name Yahusha, they kind of double-mindedly double dip in two different categories that they say they're not doing, but they really are. Um, the I-N is silent in modern Hebrew, which has a vowel point A. So, some follow that and write an A. And actually still keep the I-N silent. Or, since I-N begins with an A, they write an A. But really, no full understanding on why there's an A at the end of Yahusha. Okay? Now, as you see, the He is circled. That's the one that looks like a stick figure. A man. Okay? That is the main letter in the Most High Yah's name. And when we went into Babylon, 
it was removed, symbolically showing that his presence, his essence was no longer with us in captivity. So there's a story or a, a history just in the names of Christ alone. So when he was being called Yahweh Shah or Yahusha, and we was not in captivity, we see the main letter that's in the Most High's name inside his name. But when we went into captivity and the name Yeshua came about, he removed the main letter from the name. Okay? And since we was in Babylon, the Vav, the Wa, or the Ua, and the Sheen was switched around. Babylon means confusion. What happened? Confusion. See? The vibe went on one side, the sheen went on the opposite side. All right? So, the name Yeshua, if you look at it, still represents salvation, but it also tells a story about our captivity. Okay? Now, here's the interesting part Greeks copy the Hebrews. Okay, so if you go to Psalms 119, you have the Hebrew alphabet, which starts with the Aleph, then it has a Bet, then you have Gimel, then you have Dalit, and so forth. So, the Greeks copy the Hebrews. So, when you see Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, they copy that from the Hebrew. Aleph, Bet, Gimel. Dalit. Okay? Just trying to get you a, a concept that Greeks took things from the Hebrew. Even the word Shekan and Skinu has the same base letters. They took it from the Hebrew. And it's, that might have went over some people's heads. Some people got it, but don't worry about that. If you didn't get it, just forget that I said that. That was only for a certain group of people. Okay? Now, you see that Yeshua links to the name Jesus in Hebrew. And I've literally color-coded for those individuals that are stiff-necked and hard-headed that don't seem to get this concept. The Yud became the I. The E, the two dots in Yeshua's name, is the E in Greek. The Sheen, the S-H, is not two letters. The Sheen is the S-H, one letter. The S-H in Yeshua is not two letters, but it is one letter in the Hebrew. This letter right here, the Sheen. That dot is to the right, it makes an S-H sound. If this dot was to the left, it would just make an S sound. But since the dot is to the right, it's S-H. So the S-H became the S in Isus. Okay? Now, with the Vav, or some say Y, or the Ua, when in modern Hebrew, when a dot is to the side like this, it makes the Vav no longer a V sound, but a U. If the dot was above, it's an O, and no dot, it's just a V. So this dot on the side is the U. So the uh, the U in Isus is the U from Yeshua. Okay? And the last letter which created the S in Isus at the end is required by Greek grammar. The I-N falls off. And you actually have an A right here with this line right here is an A. And actually in the name Ihusa, it doesn't fall off because you see the A at the end. So, and then from Isus, the I to the J, the E to the E, the S to the S, the U to the U, U which makes a U sound. If you look at modern Hebrew, I, A, E, O, U. Okay. And then S to the S. And that's how you get the name Jesus. 
in our modern language stemming all the way back to the Hebrew. All right. Now, if you look at the name Yeshua and Ehusa, this is what you see on the cross. When it says IHS, that is a name for Jesus. The Ehusa is a name for Jesus. And short way to write it is IHS. But guess what? This also still stems from the name Yeshua. The Y to the I, the E to the E. You see the H. Remember the SH is one letter. So the H to, uh, the SH to the H, the U to the U. Once again, the S is required by Greek grammar. And then the A to the A. Yeshua to Ehusa. Transliterated. Okay? And you can still look at this and get the name Jesus. You got the I to the J, E to the E. Remember that it was SH. So this would be the, what gets translated to S, U, and then S, Jesus. Okay, so when you, when you know better, you got to do better, right? You feel me? And it talks about the gospel will go out to all nations, right? Remember the Tower of Babel when he confused languages? So, the name Jesus is of God. The name Jesus is of Yah. The name Jesus is of Yahweh. The name Jesus is of Yahuwah. The name Jesus is of Yahweh. And if you would take the name Jesus out of a person's mouth, but you won't walk on the streets and take a crack pipe out of a person's mouth, if you would take the name Jesus out of a person's mouth, but you won't take a liquor bottle out of a person's hand, you'll take the name Jesus out of a person's mouth, but you yourself will be scared to walk the streets at night and minister to a prostitute or try to convert a drug dealer or whatever the case may be. But you would take the name Jesus out of a person's mouth. A name that brings salvation. A name that brings healing. Try to check someone like me about, oh, if you know better, you should do better. And using the name Jesus, like, knock it off. Because y'all are a bunch of liars. And y'all are a bunch of deceivers. And y'all are not the church that you think you are. You really starting to look like that church that thinks they healing people. Think they doing God a service. But when they come, when 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 uh, he, he comes and, and y'all get to talking to him and be like, oh, uh. Well, we heal people in your name. I heal people in your name, Yahusha. I heal people in your name, Yahusha. I, I, I called on the right name, but he did not know you. That's what y'all starting to look like. But, y'all yeah, forbid. You know? So, that being said, don't start trying to get people to stop saying the name Jesus. The, the, the letter J, oh, it wasn't created but 400 years ago. All things were created by the Most High Yah. Everything was created by Him. All things were made by Him. All, all things are made through Him, through His begotten Son. Everything is made through Him. Everything from before in the beginning to now. He created the letter J. Now what? He created the name Jesus. Now what? He created that name. He put that name into existence. He knew of this day. If you have a problem with the name Jesus, then you have a problem with Yahusha. If you have a problem with the name Jesus, then you have a problem with Yahweh Shah. If you have a problem with the name Jesus, then you have a problem with Yeshua. If you have a problem with Jesus, then you have a problem with Ezus. And if you have a problem with Jesus, then you have a problem with Ehusa. And if you have a problem with Jesus, then you have a problem as a disciple, period. Wake up!